you know, other farmers. They cannot believe we can plant this kind for five because I said, yeah, 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 you plant, you plant even. He go down and I saw him, but some of the farmers come look it up. Why are you for fire? So you cannot believe I can plant this kind for five. But I tell you something, it's like, yeah, I tell you. So how, how old are these plants again now? This one here, I planted it on May 10th. This one is May 10th. So this one will be May, June, July, August, September, October, November. See, almost going to be six months, not quite yet. But look how fast already they come out. That's right. Usually, how long you said usually take from your experience? Um, transplant. Usually take about nine to ten months transplant. But this one transplant, I transplanted May 10th. And that's only what, no more even six months yet. You know, I, I, <laughs> and look at that, look at that. Before we know it, it's like a plant if, Papaya, you see how many stuff like this? See, oh, one, one of them. You get three. Some of them down there, I see, get five come out. I mean, it's unheard of that kind. Five come out for one stem mm -hmm. like that. I get five come out. You know oh what my I mean? gosh. Oh, this one get six. Oh, one, two, three, four. No, get five. See the five? Yeah, three, yeah. Two, four, oh, yeah, yeah, one, five. The most important thing I think about EM is my chemicals. I cut down my chemicals. That's the part I, that's the part I'm really excited about. Because I spray chemical only before, you know, this one would be about six months old. I used to, I would spray maybe every three weeks, sometimes every two weeks. So you figure like six months, maybe it would be about 12, 12 times. Maybe. I spray chemical only twice mm -hmm. inside, yeah. The, I spray, what I do is I spray chemical. The next day I come in with the EM already. Yeah. That's what they recommend. Eh? Mm -hmm. And I see, yeah. wow, hell of a difference. Hey, look at the, the growth of the trees. Eh? Look how young it is and look how mm -hmm. big. Beautiful. I mean, the chemicals is not, not only because it's maybe, you know, kind of dangerous to the kind, but it's the cost that's cut down the chemical. So, I mean, it's a balance, but overuse, that's why you, you, you're missing all the microbial population, yeah? yeah? And Kayton was one person that he would try. He yeah. tried different things. He right. tried all kinds of different things. So. Yeah. I try, I try mm. plant different things, but this is the first yeah. time I, I mean, this thing just, I mean, over yeah. one year. Really. Yeah. This is the happiest we've seen. <laughs> good, good. I mean, 1974, we came here. You can just throw the seed, he'll grow like this. Uh, but after 10, 20 years, yeah. nobody can plant papaya like this, just like this here. But it's amazing, he come out like this. You know what I mean? Look at the leaf, just so healthy. I think that one. You can tell when a papaya real growing. This thing over here goes real long. Real long. So when are you looking to harvest these? Oh, we think maybe... One month more. Oh. So you're making money already I off these trees. One month more is just unheard of in seven months papaya. I mean I, I cannot tell you any other farmer who can pick in one month in seven months. You tell any Perfect. other papaya farmer, they would never believe. Him. So we also talked about the taste, yeah? About the bricks and then help you. That's the that's the real stuff that the bricks come way, way up. Well already know, you know, spraying EM what you're doing and how are you how are you doing um you're doing a drip and drip? How often are you doing a drip program now? Uh, every other month, every other week. Mm. So twice a week I drip. And then how about the, the foliar now? Foliar is every week. Every week. Yeah. Yeah. So we already know that if you spray it and you're taking care of your canopy, the foliage, yeah. that's going to really Plus, enhance the yeah, sweetness. The size up too and everything. Yeah. So you mentioned about the um, the cover. You notice um, the, with the EM, with the covering it worked. Yeah, with a if you put some kind of mulch on top, mm -hmm. I take I think it works, yeah. works works way better. So this is a how big a gallon container this one? Small, a uh, little hundred gallons. Mm. Perfect. Yeah. So that's enough to uh, spray your whole farm? No, a couple times. Couple times. Fill up. <laughs> good for maybe good for the nozzles and good for all the parts inside with the rust. So I don't even clean the thing. It's a hair too then, yeah, it's a hair looks okay, clear. <laughs> That's clean alright. <laughs> what kind of watermelon did you go? A seedless. You know that, that usually take about three months before I harvest. And I used to spray chemical every week. That watermelon I had over there. I harvested never spray chemical once. Terrific. Never spray chemical once. And never did happen for me, me ever before. In that uh, same time, harvest? Three months? Same time. Yeah. 
So how was that taste? Oh, terrific. I, I heard from, from some customers. They told me that the thing comes sweeter, it come, uh, the texture inside comes more crunchy, mm. the color comes more red. That's what I take notice. So sold out right away. Oh, no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> shake. You see the tree, you know, shake now. Mm. The root system, Sorry. they're real strong. With some of our trees that fall down, you know, the wind down, less January. The strong wind here. Some of them might tip over like this. So what I did, we had stand them all up, pack the soil in, and we start dripping the EM around them. That thing will shake now, already. <laughs>